Hi, I'm Cybex author and Stormwind instructor William Panic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 Enterprise. Now, currently, Microsoft has released four versions of Windows 10. There's a Windows 10 Home, there's a Windows 10 Pro, there's a Windows 10 Enterprise, and there's a Windows 10 Student Edition. We're going to go ahead and install Windows 10 Enterprise. Now, at this time, I've created a virtual machine. I've set it up with 8 gigs of RAM, and all I've done is installed the Windows 10 Enterprise DVD into the DVD drive, and it's taken me to this point. So now we're going to go ahead and walk through the installation of Windows 10 Enterprise. At the first Windows setup screen, you actually can put in your language, your time and currency, and the input of your keyboard. So it's English and US, so I'm going to go ahead and just click Next. Then I'm going to go ahead and click Install Now, and Windows is going to go ahead and start up. At the Windows License screen, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to accept the license and click Next. Then when it asks me which type of installation do I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and choose a custom installation. Now for this virtual machine, I've set up a 60 gigabyte drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set up the actual partition volume at this time. So I'm going to click New and I'm going to choose the entire amount. Now when I hit Apply, I'm going to get a message that states that Windows needs to have some space so that it can put some of the Windows files. So I'm going to hit Apply. Right here it's telling me that Windows is going to create additional partitions for system files. I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to choose my partition 2, the normal primary partition, and I'm going to click Format. And at this point, it's going to go ahead and format the drive. Now this doesn't take very long, and as soon as that's done, I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Now one thing that didn't pop up on this disk was asking me what version I wanted to install. This disk is just a straight Windows 10 Enterprise disk, so it automatically just assumed I was going to install Windows Enterprise. If you actually have a multi-version disk, a screen may appear asking you which version of Windows Server you want to install at that time. Also, when you install Windows 10 Home and Pro, a screen will appear asking you to type in your license key. So you'll need to do that at that time. Now I'm going to go ahead and let Windows 10 set up. I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back as soon as Windows 10 is done getting installed. At this point, the Windows files have been installed and Windows 10 rebooted. So now Windows 10 is preparing to start the operating system for the first time. Now, after the files have loaded and the system reboots, you're going to start going through a first-time login wizard. So here, it's telling us, get going fast. And these are things that we can change at any time. Personalization for speech, help protect you from malicious web content, and improve in reading, speed up browsing, and make the experience even better. So at this point, we can go in and we can customize our settings. Now I'm going to click Use Express Settings. Now Windows 10 is going to walk through the introduction of the operating system. Now because this is Windows 10 Enterprise, it's going to ask me how I want to connect my windows to my organization. So at this point, you can join Azure or you can join a domain. So if I click on join a domain, it's going to give me the opportunity to set up a local account and join a domain. So I'm going to click next. It's going to say who's using this PC. So it's going to ask for a username. So I'm going to go ahead and type in will.panic and then I'm going to go ahead and put in a password for myself. And we're just going to use a basic password that we can always change later. Then it's going to continue with the installation. So the system rebooted one more time and it has now brought us into the Windows 10 operating system. Now some of the things that you may notice 
that have changed from Windows 8 to Windows 10 is Windows 10 has gone back to a start button like we did in the Windows 7 start menu. So it doesn't automatically just bring us to like the Windows 8 start screen. Now we have a normal start menu again. There are some things that you can do just like normal. If you look over here on the right hand side, we can actually access our network from here. So if we needed to, we could right click, we could open our network and sharing center and go ahead and configure our network at that point. We could also do our speaker level here. Here you have our notifications and a touchscreen keyboard. You also have the Windows Store, you have File Explorer, you have the Internet, and then right here you have your task view. So this is the newest version of Windows Operating System, Windows 10 Enterprise. I hope this video helped you in installing the Windows 10 Enterprise Operating System. I'm Stormwind Instructor and Cybex author, William Panic. I look forward to you watching another video very soon.